Welcome back everyone. We're going to look at our culture seven days after they were placed onto the uh, culture media. First, our callous medium, the one that had the uh, pretty large amounts, relatively large amounts, uh, uh, equal amounts of auxin and cytokinin. We see on the left, here's our day zero. This is uh, just a reminder of what it looked like when the tissue was placed on the medium. And on day seven, to the right, what we see is that the tissue is beginning to swell. Uh, that's a good thing. It means that uh, the cells are alive and they are taking up the, the medium and the nutrition that we've given them. Some of them are maybe expanding. Hopefully they're, they're dividing. Uh, we'll find out. Uh, but it's a little too early to tell. But they, the fact that they're misshapen and that uh, they're cracking open, that's a good thing. Here are two plates from that um, experiment. Uh, not showing all 11, um, but here's just two, just to show how not all of the pieces of tissue, such as this one all the way to the left, not all of them are responding. So it's possible that this piece of tissue uh, succumbed to the uh, bleach treatment. So maybe we killed it. Or I killed it since I did it. I shouldn't say we. It's not your fault. For the other 16 hormone concentrations, I didn't see much going on. So that's why I, I, I just put all the pictures on here at once as a group of 16. Some of them I saw some swelling, uh, as you saw in the, the previous uh, slide, but uh, for most of them I didn't see much going on. Now something I did see that was different from the petri dishes was contamination in these. So when I prepared these, uh, perhaps I, I must have carried over something. I'm not sure what I did, but that's just, that's just the way tissue culture goes. Uh, you always have to set up lots of replicates and you often have to start over uh, when something doesn't work. So for this first week, we have five uh, casualties, uh, five culture tubes that are, have contamination. Four of them were mold, which looks like this. So you can imagine a single mold spore fell in or was placed in right there and then grew out in all different directions. Um, if we were trying to grow mold, this would be beautiful, but uh, of course we're not. And then on the right was something I, I don't know if I've ever seen before. Uh, I may have, and maybe I've just blocked it, but uh, insects. Uh, some ants crawled into the tube. So uh, I removed this tube. I um, put it on, I, I heated it up to kill the ants. Sorry, ants. And um, I wiped the bench down. I, I found the, uh, the trail of ants. <laughs> I, I don't know where they were going off to, but I wiped the bench down to try to uh, discourage them from coming back and uh, finding uh, this great source of food. For, great for them, <laughs> not for us and our experiment. I will um, stop there. That's our week seven, or week, I'm uh, sorry, day seven, week one. So, um, I'll come back when I have more results in one more week.